Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. Let me first apologise for my voice, I am a bit croaky because I have a cold but that's not to stop us looking at these five beautiful Christmas nail art signs that we're going to be doing today. And for these designs, I'm going to be using the new Magpie Shapes. They have recently come out with three different colours of these beautiful stars. They are so tiny and perfect for encapsulating or laying on top of your tacky layer. They work really well. They've also released five new chrome pigments. They are the Jewel Collection. And they have released five colours, a rose gold, a beautiful red, a stunning cobalt blue, which is beautiful, it is my favourite, and also a stunning emerald green. And then also to finish off the jewel collection, they brought out a beautiful amethyst purple colour, which is just a beautiful. They all apply so well and I'll show you how to use them later on in the tutorial. You're also going to need to create these looks, the Magpie Gel Colour Black Betty or any other black gel of your choice and give me strength, don't be tacky and let it shine top coat. I'll be using all of these throughout this tutorial, you feel free to use whatever you have. I'm also going to be using the new Dixie Plates Christmas 2018 stamping plate. It is stunning, full and jam-packed, full of Christmas designs. I can't wait to use this on my clients. I'm also going to be using the Born Pretty stamping polishes. They are really affordable and I'm going to be using the black and the white, number three and number four. I'm also going to be using the liquid chrome nail paint from Barry M called Rain On Me. It works amazingly for stamping. I am also going to be using my Dixie Plate Stamper and also the Crystal Display Tip Holder also from Dixie Plates. You're also going to need some form of eyeshadow applicator or silicone tool for applying the chrome and a dotting tool of your choice. So first design we're going to create is this one here. So I'm starting off with a base layer of Magpie Beauty Black Betty Gel Colour, applying one coat of this, it is super pigmented so that's all you need, curing in my lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds and when it comes out I just wipe off the inhibition layer ready for stamping. So I'm using that top right image with little stars and dots to apply that to the nail first off. I hold the stamper on the nail for a few seconds to make sure that image transfers beautifully and there you have the first step of this design. So I'm now going to be using some of those Magpie stars in the beautiful green teal colour and I'm just applying a little bit of Magpie Give Me Strength which is their thicker viscosity strong gel. It's good for applying on natural nails to give them a little bit more strength. So I'm using this and dotting it on with a dotting tool in the places that I want to apply those stars. So I'm just going in and applying random dots of Give Me Strength all over the nail where I want to apply those stars. I'm then going to use my dotting tool to pick up those stars individually and lay them onto that wet, uncured Give Me Strength gel and this is going to really secure those in place. Once I've finished applying those stars onto the nail, I will put this in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds. This is going to secure those stars in place so they won't budge when we come to top coat. So I'm now going to go in with one layer first of all of Give Me Strength, this is that thicker viscosity stronger gel, this will just really encapsulate and seal in those stars. After curing in the lamp for 60 seconds I'm then going to go in with Let It Shine Top Coat and apply a layer of that, cure in the lamp for 60 seconds and that design is complete. Onto the next design, I'm going to create this gorgeous star bunting which is perfect for this festive season and will also carry you through into the new year. So again, applying one layer of that Black Betty gel polish, curing in the lamp for 60 seconds and wiping off that inhibition layer. I'm going to be using this gorgeous star on a thread image on the bottom here and just using my scraper to remove anything that I've picked up on that stamper that I don't want to transfer onto the nail. And I'm just placing this onto the nail wherever I want it. You can place it differently if you want to. This is just where I've chosen to place it for the image. And I'm just placing a few rows of this going vertically and diagonally along the nail. I am then going in with the beautiful cherry pinky red stars from Magpie, again using the Give Me Strength from Magpie Beauty to apply and secure these stars in place. Thank you. 
Once I'm happy with the placement of the stars, I will pop into my lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds to secure. I'm then going to go in with one layer of the Give Me Strength gel to seal that design in and give a nice floaty layer so it makes it nice and smooth. After curing that in my lamp for 60 seconds, I will give it a final top coat with a Let It Shine top coat and you have a finished nail. I love this design i think it's going to be popular for this time of year next design is this gorgeous present and snowfall design for all of these nail art designs i think you'll start to notice a pattern we're going to use a black base for them all so i've applied one layer of black betty cured in my lamp and now going in with one layer of don't be tacky which is the magpie beauty chroming top coat curing that in my lamp for 60 seconds and now we're going in with the chrome pigment Starting off with the purple which is amethyst and I'm applying that to the top half of the nail and sprinkling a little bit onto the bottom half of the nail to help try and achieve a little bit of an ombre. I'm then going in and using the other side of my eyeshadow applicator brush and applying the blue on the bottom half. This is called Sapphire, it is stunning. And then I'm just using the eyeshadow applicator to blend the two together. It doesn't have to be too much of a perfect blend as we are going over with stamping. So before stamping, I'm just applying a layer of Magpie Beauty Don't Be Tacky top coat, just so that we can stamp really nicely on top of this without any problems. So going in with the White Born Pretty stamping polish and picking up that image, and you can see how crisp that image is. I wouldn't be able to do stamping without this clear stamper. I can't tell you how easy it is to do stamping with a clear stamper. I don't use the coloured stampers anymore because I wouldn't be able to see where I put anything. So now I'm going in with a dotting tool and some more of that white stamping polish and I'm just adding some random dots in a couple of different sizes in the gaps on the nail. I really think this pulls the whole look together and creates a really seamless snowy Christmas design. I love how this turned out. So after I've done all the dots on the nail I'm going to go in with one layer of Let It Shine top coat to finish that off and you are all done. I absolutely love this design and I think it would work in loads of different colour combos. On to the next design is this super Christmassy green and red Christmas wreath design. Again going in with one layer of Black Betty gel colour curing for 60 seconds and then applying one layer of Don't Be Tacky chrome top coat and curing that in the lamp for 60 seconds so we are ready to apply our chrome. Going in with the red chrome first which is garnet and you can see how static it went on my eyeshadow applicator. It looked really cool, it looked like little icicles I just thought I'd show you. So I'm applying that red in the centre of the nail and blending it out slightly so we create a nice circular area of a red chrome in the middle and then I'm going in with the other side of the eyeshadow applicator brush into the green which is emerald and applying that all around the outside of the red and blending the two together slightly so that they are all covering the black base. Once that's done, I'm applying one layer of Don't Be Tacky top coat so that this nail is ready for stamping. So going in with this image here, I'm using the Black Born Pretty stamping polish and just picking up this image on the bottom right hand side of the Dixie Christmas 2017 stamping plate and it picked up perfectly and I'm just applying this directly over the top of that red chrome. Applying one coat of top coat let it shine from magpie and that design is all done I love how the red highlights the magic time writing it looks so cool So on to the next design and the last but certainly not my least favorite it is this rose gold stamping airmail Christmas design. Again, going in with one layer of Black Betty, curing for 60 seconds, and then one layer of Don't Be Tacky Top Coat, and curing that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now we're going in with this beautiful rose gold chrome, which is called Rosetta, and I'm just chroming this over the whole entire surface of the nail, giving it a good rub in to make sure it is all super metallic. And then going in with one coat of Don't Be Tacky Top Coat, curing for 60 seconds, and now we're going to go in with stamping. Now I think this is my favourite image on the plate, it is full of airmail, postage, stamps, and it's all Christmassy, it's got a little Christmas tree, and it says Santa's mail, and I just I love this one, I think it's really fun, and really unique and quirky. So I'm applying that with the black stamping polish onto the nail, and it's stamped beautifully. 
I'm then going to use a couple of these beautiful champagne stars from Magpie and I'm using the Give Me Strength to apply them in the same way that I've done before in this tutorial. So once I'm happy with where they are and they're in the correct placement, I'm going to cure that in my lamp to set them in place for 60 seconds. And then use the Give Me Strength all over the nail with one coat and cure in the lamp for 60 seconds to make it nice and smooth. And then finish off with one layer of Let It Shine top coat and cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And that design is all done. I love this one so much. I think it looks so quirky and funky. And the catching holographicness of the stars is beautiful. So there you have it. There's all five designs. I really enjoy creating these Christmassy New Year nail art designs for you. I hope you like them. If you recreate them, don't forget to tag me and send me a message. I'd love to see. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and turn the notification bell on so you get notified as to when I post new videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Isabel May Nails, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!